Everybody seems to be talking about Paul Pogba. This time, it's about his celebrations after celebrating with the French team back in France as World Cup champions. The first game they've had there, beat the Netherlands in a friendly, and all of the players, they celebrated in the stadium with the fans. The video of it is here, but there's been a lot of vitriol aimed towards this that I can't get my head around. I shared the video on United People's TV, on the People's Person Twitter account. I want to read a few of the replies to that video that were left in the comments. Everything that is wrong with the modern game, nothing but an entertainment business. Can you imagine Keane, Skulls or Giggs getting on like this? Can we hire Roy Keane as assistant manager at United? He will cut this crap out real quick. I understand this is for France, but Pogba hasn't done anything for United and he seems to be okay with that. Compare this circus to Kante's entrance, impressed by Kante's humility while Pogba is strutting around dabbing. Me six months ago, Pogba dancing, oh my God, he's awesome. Me now, what a dancing wanker, please leave my club. If only he actually performed for United, a frustrating player. What a knob he is, absolute clown, what a gimp. All he can do is dance around like a child. For fuck's sake, man, just be a footballer. Can anybody explain why I'm slowly starting to despise this guy? Clown, the guy's a ball bag. I really dislike this guy. Maybe he should put as much effort into his football at United as they are paying his wages. His dancing skills are similar to his football skills, flashy, inconsistent. Why does he always act like a clown? Pobre is a showman, he's just a clown. I can officially say I hate him now. And I could go on and on and on. There were so many comments on these videos with people who seemed to be disagreeing with what Pobble was doing and how Pobble was celebrating. Now, Graham Souness, we all hate Graham Souness for how he just basically launches verbal attacks on Paul Pobble, even when he's had a good game. All of you sound like Graham Souness in the comments to this. Who gives a fuck how Paul Pobble decides to celebrate winning the World Cup? The guy's just won the World Cup. It's only France's third ever World Cup in the history of the World Cup. It's the most prestigious tournament a footballer can win. Popper can celebrate however the fuck he wants. And if it was England that won that World Cup, I'd expect there to still be carnage, utter carnage, for months in England and for the players to be celebrating however they want to. Now, it seems like a lot of you, well, a lot of people in the comments anyway on that video, Disagreed with that. They wanted Pogba to just walk up, put the hand on the trophy and walk away. Now, I think that's wrong. I think Pogba is allowed to celebrate however the hell he wants to. And if that means he wants to dance, if that means he wants to dab, then he can do it. But unfortunately, a lot of the, a lot of the comments for me sound like people who are stuck in the past. Say, back in my day, you know, you wouldn't have seen any stupid or mad celebrations. You wouldn't have seen Roy Keane letting that happen, although he did. As you can remember, Lee Sharp, he loved the celebration. Didn't seem like Roy Keane was that pissed off in this video. Back in my day, you wouldn't have seen any footballers obsessed with their haircuts. Other than David Beckham having this haircut and that haircut and this haircut and that haircut. And David Beckham was an absolute pin-up. David Beckham was the, goal, the poster boy of English football. What's different? What's different about it now? And for me, I think it was summed up by a lifelong United fan, United We Stand contributor, Pete Molyneux, who also replied to the video, saying, I think we're being a bit harsh on Pogba here. He's just won the World Cup, for God's sake. I remember Bobby Charlton doing the exact same routine when he returned to Old Trafford in 66. Football's changed. Football continues to change, and the footballers continue to change. It doesn't give you justification to launch attacks at a player for what he's celebrating at doing with his country because he's not performing at club level. The fact of the matter is right now, if United were winning, United were top of the league, like Liverpool, four wins out of four, everything's running smoothly, nobody would bat an eyelid at anything that Paul Pogba does or did. The fact that United are playing poorly does not give you justification to start launching attacks at a player for things he's doing, out, especially outside of United. Yes, criticising for his performances at United, they're subpar. On some games, some games are not, but he needs to sort that out himself. But whatever he does with France is completely and utterly irrelevant. And just the amount of hatred I saw in the comments, I felt like I had to come out and defend Paul Pogba, which is mad. I really shouldn't have to. Really, really shouldn't have to. But I want to know what you think about this. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, but for me, I just think it's embarrassing. I think Paul Pogba is entitled to do whatever the fuck he wants to do. He is a World Cup winning midfielder who scored in the World Cup final and is a key part of Didier Deschamps' side.
If he wants to celebrate by dancing and dabbing, do what you want, Paul. <laughs>